This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, Bruch HaMabam, welcome everyone to our Shira on Tefillah. And we are moving along to the third Hallelujah. We want to thank our very dear friends in Los Angeles, um, Rabbi Sal Rose and Mishpachtai, who sponsor the Shira on Tefillah, and Ishnos' his brother, Tzvi ben, ben Levi Yitzchak, his Neshama Shav and Aliyah, Bia Meot Yosher for his whole family, Abi Yaskar Al Tzedek. We're, we're up to um, we are up to the third Hallelujah and the third Hallelujah is part of the series of davening that is referred to as Unifa Ercha we mentioned the five main parts of Sukkot Zimra: Negadelcha, Unishavechacha, Unifaercha, Vamlichacha, Vnaskir Shemcha. And Negadelcha was Hoidu and Yehichavoid, where we braid various Sukkim together from throughout Tanakh that have common themes. Nishabechacha is Ashrei, where we're Mishabeach, the the that which Hashem meets out for us in this world, even though it seems uh, difficult sometimes, but we declare Toiv Hashem Lakov Rachamav Akom Asav, and now we're up to Nifa Ercha. Nifa Ercha Peer means crown, and this is a reference to the crowning jewel of world history, which is the Achros Hayamim. Now the Achros Hayamim consists of five eras. One is before the coming of Mashiach, and that's the first Hallelujah where we talk about not to believe in any of the false messiahs, al tiftachu v'nadivim. And while Ashrei is the shear of the guf, the first Hallelujah is the shear of the nefesh, halali nafshi. The second Hallelujah is about the coming of Mashiach. That's what we learned last week. Uh, last week we, we learned the second Hallelujah about Mashiach's coming. And... We spoke about the new world order that will, will be apparent when Mashiach comes and how HaKadosh Baruch Hu will uh, teach us the Torah, Magid Dvarav Liyakov, Chukav HaMishvatav Yisrael. And now we're up to the third Hallelujah. Now, the third, while well, the second Hallelujah was the shear of the Ruach, Mashiach is referred to as Ruach, the th- the third Hallelujah is the shear of Ruach HaKodesh. And this is the shear not of the coming of Mashiach. So in other words, the first Hallelujah is before Mashiach comes. The second Hallelujah talks about the coming of Mashiach. And the third Hallelujah that we're going to do today, which is Parak Kuf Mem Zayin. Excuse me, Kuf Mem Ches is discussing the actual arrival of Mashiach. So last week we spoke about, as Mashiach is coming, Boine Yerushalayim Hashem, Nidche Yisrael Yechanes, and Hashem is going to bring a new world order, Shabach Yerushalayim as Hashem, He's going to teach us the Torah again, which is, uh, was analogous to the snow. Now we're talking about the song of Mashiach. And this capital is broken up really into two parts, where David Amel starts off, Halilu es Hashem min ha-shamayim, and then, Halilu es Hashem min ha-oretz. So Reb Schwab understands as follows. He says, this, the, the Mishoirer, the conductor, is up to the Madrega of Ruach HaKodesh. The previous Mizmar spoke about the dawn, the coming of Mashiach, when Yishalayim will be built, and the Nidche Yisrael will be gathered. And now, Mashiach is here. And now, at that time, Mashiach will guide, by the way, says Rav Shwab, who's Mashiach? Gilgal David HaMelech. <laughs> Mashiach is the reincarnate of David. Like we say in Hoshana's Koil Tzemach, Ish Tzemach Shemoy, who David Ba'at Smoy. And therefore he's called David Mashichecha. And now begins the song of all creation. 
Now, just like a conductor in the symphony, when he re raises his baton to one side, what's he signaling? Okay, you guys, play your instrument, sing. And then he turns to the second side and he motions to them and he's saying, okay, you guys, now it's your turn to raise your voices and start your instruments. So David HaMelech raises his sharvit. How each part of creation should sing their shira to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. David HaMelech is now instructing all the various instruments, the chatzoitzreis, the chalilim, the navel, the chinar, right? The conductor motions to each instrument. You can't just play music when you want to. The lyres, the harps, the trumpets, the tubas, they're all waiting for the, the nod from the conductor when they should be yiftzichu b'koyl. So David HaMelech Baruch HaKodesh now turns and he says, Hallelujah! And he says, Hallelujah Hashem! Min HaShamayim! First he commands the Shamayim to praise Hashem. Hallelujah Bameroimim! Then he points even higher, okay, now the highest heavens you praise. Then he goes, okay, angels, you, your turn. Hallelujah Kol Tzavav! Hallelujah Shemesh V'yareach! He points to the sun and the moon. Hallelujah Kol Kolch V'yareach! points to the stars. Shemeya Shamayim! The firmament that we see is the Shamayim. It's only a small speck in relative to the Shmei Shamayim, which is called super galaxies. And then he points to the water above the Shamayim, like the original matter of creation. The plasma that everything was created from. Ya hallelujah Hashem Hashem! You know why David says, it's your turn now, Kihut Siva He commanded and they were created. I would interpret that it's referring to their new creation at the time of Mashiach. And when Hashem um, positioned them forever, that they should have everlasting standing without any deterioration. And now David HaMelech says, Okay guys, that was beautiful, good going. Now David HaMelech points down, Hallelujah Hashem in Aretz. Earth, you praise Hashem. Taninim, all the whales. V'chol tohoimos, all the depths. Eish, fire, barad, hail, sheleg, snow, kitar, er, um, volcanoes, ruach sara, hurricanes, that they oised varay, mountains, all the gvois, eitz peri, if you remember we interpreted eitz peri, that when God created the world originally, He wanted it to be eitz peri, oised peri. Not only fruit-bearing trees, but trees that taste like fruit. So now in the Yemais HaMashiach, the trees will listen again. The Chol HaRozim, all the cedars, they will all praise Hashem. And then David the conductor points to all the animals, to the Chaya, to the Balei Chayim, and the Behemais, Remes V'tzipar Kanaf. And then David HaMelech points to the kings and all the regimes, and all the officers, and all the judges, and all the governors, and all the emperors, and all the ministers. All you guys, get together. You know, the guy from North Korea, the guy in Syria, Putin, all these guys, all these chevra will come together. They'll be in one joyous kumzitz, praising HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Looking forward to that. Bachurim v'gam besulais. Now interesting. It says, Zikanim im na'arim. Old uh, together with young. But when it comes to the boys and girls, it's Bachurim, not ve'im besulais. Ve'gam besulais. They're separate. All of them, Yahalilu Hashem Hashem ki niskav. The word niskav is a compound word. Sagi v'gavaya. Supreme and high. Strong and high. Ki nizgav shemay lavadai. Only God's name is elevated. This is talking about the zman after the coming of Mashiach where all the residents on, in the upper worlds and the lower worlds they'll all recognize that there's nothing other than God. Shemay lavadai. Haidai. Aleretz v'shemayim. They'll recognize that His glory is over heaven and earth. 
And then David HaMelech concludes the song of Mashiach. Who's in charge of the song? Who is the centerpiece that this whole prophetic vision is a description of? Who's the center of the universe? The answer is, Vayarem Karen La'amoi. This is all to raise up his people. Even though it's Tehila Lechol Chasidav. This will bring a praise to all of God's righteous people, including Chasidei Umay Sa'ilam. But nevertheless, even though it's a Tehila Lechol Chasidav, but especially the centerpieces of Levnei Yisrael. They are the Nekuda Merkazis of all those who will be Zoycha to this great time in, our, in the history of the world. Am Karoivai, his close nation, Hashem is so close to us, it's like he's related to us. We are his children because we fulfill his mission to bring his presence to the whole world through our Amunah Mitachain. This Mizmar is a parish, what will the world be like, the Yemais HaMashiach, and how all creation will together, in unison, strengthen their praise of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and cry out, Hallelujah. Okay, Rabbi Isai, that's the third Hallelujah. I want to wish everyone a wonderful Shabbos. Bracha v'atzlacha. And we'll see, Be'ez Hashem, if you want to join us Monday. I have a good Shabbos. Kol Tov. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.